What is up guys, welcome to the Big Unbox, we do that small tech, and today I am back with another Big Unboxing for you for the S23 Ultra, and today we have the official leather case from Samsung, this is going to be that tan brown version to unbox to a cool review, you know, throw up the link in the video description if you want to check it out, pricing like 60 bucks, so very expensive, but we're going to check it out, see if it's a hit or miss for your brand new Ultra presentation, looks good, you can see, a little leather case samsung logo at the very bottom and the back's going to tell you a little more details about your premium leather experience but we're going to check it out now i know a lot of you guys have already gotten this one or are planning on getting this one with the, the like the trading credits or you get a, like an additional if you pre-order whatever like this and i think i did the same thing so we're going to check it out to see if it's worth that value or we're even worth your time or effort let's go check it out take the trusty unboxing knife and slap it open like this to see if it's a hit or miss. Let's go check it out, guys. Now that red, definitely not a true red. That's more of a like a core red. So I'm not sure if this is gonna look good together, but we're gonna slap it open to see if it looks compatible at least. True tan, kind of like a camel brown, which actually looks very, very nice and clean. Samsung look at the very bottom. You can see that you got the actual punch or the whole punch outs for the actual camera and the same thing on the very sides right there so the trifecta and then right there for the flash system interior's got this very soft velvet like finish but it's actually that premium leather now the interior has got the actual bumper which has actually got the same exact leather so it transitions from the soft leather material to the same material on the actual actual bumper itself for the actual bumper part around the actual interior of the phone so it actually does feel very premium nothing on the interior as well it's got a little flex to it but overall nice build quality very lightweight got a little grip to it now one thing in terms of leather cases they will wear in time so they actually get more grippy in time so don't be alarmed when you first get a case and it's like oh it's a little slippery they will kind of wear in time let's go take out that beautiful i don't like it's red but we'll call it core uh, core red and wipe it down wipe it down like we do shine it up real nice for the camera beautiful slap it in like this not sure how this is going to look together there you go i guess it doesn't even it kind of you know the case the case does everything this is why i love cases this is why i do cell phone case reviews because i'm not a huge fan of that that red but you slap a case on it and look at that beautiful that tan that whatever you want to call it that brown leather looks beautiful against it the black superior look at that no you got flush camera cut out just a little look at that beautiful look at the design attention to detail you got all the cutouts precise and clean you're getting just enough camera coverage very very minimalistic it's a huge phone huge huge phone but that case itself makes it feel very minimalist which i do appreciate samsung glue on the very bottom right there looking very clean Let's go and check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip zip. All right, we're definitely not getting lip protection. Well, yeah, like a little bit. I guess we're getting a lip at the very bottom, a lip at the very top. But you got to get a curved screen, so you're really not getting much on the sides. This, it, it is what it is. I, I'm not a huge fan of it. Curved screens are just not great to me. But it is what it is. You know what you're getting into it. You're, you're getting a trouble with the screen protector. You can't find a good screen protector. And then case-wise, you're not going to be able to find out one that's going to cover up the actual full screen. But overall, this one does a decent job. Nothing on the sides. You got a little cut out right there for the S Pen. Easy access. I like that right there. Look at that. Very clean. Got your speaker. Got your power right there. And then you got your power button right here. Volume up and down. Click and responsive. They switched out the buttons so they're metal material or plasticky metal, which seems nice. And then you got your very top cutout right there for the mic. So overall, let's check it out face first. Beautiful. That brown on black. Now, again, this particular case is awesome. I love this case. I love the design. I'm not a fan of the actual original red. It's just not an appealing red to me. But I feel you throw a case on it. Look at this. Look, how look at that. Beautiful design. Yeah, full edge edge protection leather material it is will wear in time is it worth 60 bucks probably not of course not too many cases are worth that much but if you're dropping 
twelve hundred dollars on a case or a, I'm sorry, a phone, you might want to check out sixty dollars for a case. I don't think that's that big a deal. So I don't. If you really like leather cases, go and check this one out. I would say that I would recommend this to anybody that really does like leather cases. Otherwise, we got lots of other cases coming. We got the clear case. We got the silicone case. We got other cases coming. We got the UAG cases. We got big boy cases. We got small case. Whatever you guys want to talk about, we got to let me know if you guys have any suggestions. Throw it up in the comment section. We'll get to as many possible reviews as possible. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? We're calling it a hit. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.